Hey Brian, uh, what, what are the plans of uh, Grab Philippines? Uh... Um, well, you know, we've shifted from being a simple transport app to your everyday super app. Uh, and our plans going forward is really to uh, continue on this trajectory and to see what other everyday services we could offer the platform. So now, as of now, we offer transport, we offer food, we offer delivery, we offer um, payments for, uh, for load. Uh, which we know are everyday things that people need uh, in, in this day and age. So it's about seeing what other verticals we could expand into and going deeper in the verticals that we are already in by way of improving uh, the services of those uh, of those uh, verticals. Yeah, currently how many subscribers do you have? We have on a monthly basis around two and a half million active users on the platform. Oh. Any plan to expand? Um, our expansion now is what we're looking at is geographical expansion. So we're currently in 14 different cities uh, offering various services. So there are some cities where there's Grab Car, Grab Food, other cities where it's only Grab Taxi, and there are other cities where it's only Grab Trike, so Grab Tricycles. No? Um, and as much as we could offer the full range of services in those different cities, that's the target that we want uh, to achieve over the next few years. In, uh, in Luzon, uh, what are the current uh, provincial cities that you are already oh, present in? Um, we are in Pampanga, in uh, Baguio, uh, in some, some areas in Bataan. Uh, those, those, those are the different cities that we're... Any plans to expand to Tagaytay? Um, if the opportunity presents itself. We were looking at Grab Trek in Tagaytay, but there was some uh, issue on the national road and tricycle being allowed in it that we were waiting to be resolved. So hopefully when that gets resolved, yeah, it's, some, it's, it's an area that we can get, get into. What, what changes are the customers can expect? Uh, what innovations are yeah, given the IR 4.0? Well, you know, the, for, for Grab, we started out under the IR 4.0, right? The, the industrial revolutions with tech and mobile phones. And that's the lifeblood of, of Grab. Uh, with, without IR 4.0, you could argue there wouldn't be any any Grab. So I think with the way our consumers interact with Grab, uh, they already are inside IR, IR 4.0. Um, and what they can expect is for us to keep improving the service, uh, improving the quality of drivers, improving the quality of, uh, of riders, improving the selection of food merchants. Uh, and, and really getting up that uh, that level of quality uh, into something that creates more loyal and satisfied customers. Yeah, would there be Grab helicopters someday? Uh, um, we experimented with that. The cost is a bit too prohibitive uh, for us to make it an everyday use case for our users. Okay, uh, would you like to uh, say something to your uh, valued customers? Well, we have customers on both sides. We have both the drivers and the passengers. And, and to them, I'd like to thank them for all the support that they've, they've given uh, to Grab. Uh, and they continue to give to Grab. And I do hope that uh, the service um, to them gets, uh, you know, they're, they're happy with using the service and they continue using it. Uh, to our driver partners uh, who have received higher income because of their usage of Grab, uh, please continue driving. It's the Christmas season. and. You know, there, along with more traffic means more passengers, and I do hope that they, they have patience in the road. And of course, to our passengers out there, um, again, a big thank you for, for continuing to support. Um, don't forget to use Grab Rewards. Uh, there's a lot of nice benefits that you can get out of it.